Just the way that, you know, Chloe wrote the script and, and the characters so beautifully, they were so nuanced and, and their story, like, I mean, essentially it's two people that really want to be together, but you know, the society that they're in is just, it's not enabling them to coexist. <laughs> started with um, personal experiences and diving into that. I was um, in a relationship with uh, someone who was threatened by me and um, threatened by the qualities that I had. The only way that I felt like I could kind of deal with it at the time was by making myself small, you know, in a desperate bid to protect that person and protect the relationship. But, um, you know, that relationship ended as it should have. and. As I continued other relationships over the years, I uh, realized that I was repeating those same kind of dynamics and those same patterns, and they were different shades, um, but ultimately it was the same kind of situation. And, you know, but these were also men who adored me for the same qualities that, that also terrified them. And it was never anything that we could talk about, so it always felt like it was something that was just accepted, normalized, and pushed under the rug. Years later, in a moment of kind of reflection and wanting to reckon with that pain and also the shame of, of minimizing myself. I, I, I put a pen to a paper and I wrote a script. Yeah, I mean, everything from, um, you know, being the only woman, I guess, in a very male dominated industry. Um, I've had those experiences and I think every woman can relate in su to some aspect of this script, whether it's the relationship or, or just you know, having to suppress their success. I mean, that was something that was really interesting to me is, is how Emily kind of navigates, you know, doing better than her, her partner and how she has to kind of suppress that and, and not let it show. Like she's, um, so that was an interesting aspect. And I, I think, yeah, I just, I just saw a lot of women I, I knew in, in this character and, um, had this feeling when I read the script that I just really wanted to bring it to life. There were just so many aspects of the film that I felt I'd never s seen before. Yeah, no, I mean, the thing that I really responded to most when I read it was just how lived in it felt. It felt like Chloe had written something that was really personal, that really um, understood these characters on a, on a really deep and specific basis. And so it's much more appealing to me to play even a very difficult character if the writer has really investigated their humanity, um, flawed though it might be, as opposed to playing an idea of someone that points to something. Chloe and I uh, went to the same college and, and, and came from, both grew up in LA and, and went to kind of similar high schools. And so we kind of had a, it was really fun for me to work with someone who was a peer in that way because the specific um, uh, iteration of these themes in these people, these kinds of people and who she's writing about and who, what her experiences are, are just the milieu that I grew up in as well. So there was a kind of shorthand or a, a kind of gut, easy understanding of what she was talking about, who these people were. I mean, those gender, mm -hmm. it's really the movie about- All relationships, you're all, saying. Are, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, men and women are fucked is what I'm saying. <laughs> we just cannot figure each other out.